Good morning, everybody. Brenda Hillard here at Create with Brenda. It's another day or uh, another episode of Coffee and Create. And as you can see, I've switched to hot coffee. Tis the season. The this week fall will already be upon us. And with that, I want to talk to you about September 30th is the last day of celebration. So, is what that means is right now for every $50 you spend in product, you get to pick free celebration items. This goes away on September 30th. So, the sets I'm going to use today are part of the celebration promotion. The first one is Delicate Dahlia. And Delicate Dahlias with a $100 product order, you can pick this stamp set for free. Right? And I'm going to show you how, how to use it and just how wonderful that set really is. And then the sentiments I'm going to use on my card are from In Your Words. In Your Words is a host gift when you have a either an order or party sales of over $300, you can um, get this stamp set absolutely free from Stampin' Up. So that being said, I can help you um, get in with a book party if you want to. And I just want you to check that out because it's a really nice set and I'll show you here how I'm going to use it and how you could use it. That's the biggest. Great. So here's the card I'm going to do today for you and with you. Um, I love this. It screams fall. Um, I purposely left this because I did not stamp off and it got a little bit dark. So let me show you how we're going to do this. I have a piece of thick and I don't use very vanilla cardstock very often. But as you can see on here with the fall colors, it really packs a, packs a punch. So let's first of all score that um, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. And then we're just going to give our score line a good crease here with our bone folder. So there's our card base. I'm going to set that off to the side. I have a piece of very vanilla cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter. And is what I want to do with this first is I'm going to stamp. And I'm going to take the delicate dahlias. And the ink colors that I'm going to be using are right here. And I think these are great fall colors. So I have um, Bumblebee, Paging Craze, Early Espresso, Old Olive, and Pumpkin Pie. I'm going to start out with my Pumpkin Pie. And as you can see, the um, images in Delicate Dahlia are called a two-step stamp. Because what that means is you have an outline and you have a filler stamp. And you have one for each of the images. Okay. So I'm going to take my outline stamp first. And I'm going to ink that up with my pumpkin pie. I just re-inked my pumpkin pie ink pad. Super juicy. So there's my dahlia. And I'm going to put one right here in the corner as well. You guys, I have a little bit of a sinus infection. So if my voice sounds weird or all of a sudden I just start choking, that's why. So what I'm going to do is just bring in a, a scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to set that off to the side. Now I'm going to take my solid stamp and I'm going to ink it up. And I'm going to stamp it off. And this one's pretty easy to find your, to find your orientation. You just need to look for the I've got in here. I'm just going to stamp. Isn't that pretty? Just love it. 
Okay. So I'm going to ink up again. Stamp off lightly. And let's match up our petals. I apologize for my for my nose. I can see through the photopolymer and I can see that I've got my petals up. Stamp. Colors in. Aren't they pretty? I just love. Love, love. Great. So that's all I'm going to do with the pumpkin. I'm going to put that to the side. I'm bringing in our bumblebee. And for this one, I'm going to clean off. Clean off what's here. So I'm going to wipe off my dahlia. I'm going to bring in the outline for this little flower that's in the set. Up the full strength. And I'm going to stamp one up here. Stamp one down here. And I'm going to take my solid flower from the set and put that over here on the corner. I'm going to ink it up. And for Bumblebee, I'm going to go full strength. That is all I have to do is find that, that short little petal right there. And then it matches. And let's ink it up one more time. Right here. Pretty, huh? And this is just direct stamping with some different color inks. I don't think I've done that or that little technique for quite some time. So this was kind of fun when I started stamping this. You don't have to have all the pieces. You can just do fun things here and there. I'm gonna, this is the Cajun craze with the outline stamp again. Now I'm going to take the solid, but this time I'm going to stamp off one of them. And this one I'm going to leave full strength. Okay. The detail on it is so pretty. All right, let's bring in the old olive. Clean up my here. Before I go too far with that, I'm going to bring in that agent craze one more time. And I'm just going to bring my envelope over. And I'm going to do the outline first, right down here. And the filler. Now my envelope has a little coordination to it as well. Clean that up. I'm gonna want to use inside. All right, let's bring in the outline for the leaves. Put the Cajun craze away. Bring in the old. Now I'm just going to go around and I'm going to kind of randomly stamp some leaves. I want one. I'm going to do one right here. 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 And I'll do more up here. Okay, so there's our outline. We get like that whoosh. All right, 
there's our outline. Now let's switch over and bring in our solid stamp. Ink up. And this one I wanted to stamp, finger right in the ink, stamp off. But a couple of them I am going to stamp in full, like right down here. Just to give it a little visual. And I'll do full. I think this one I'll do. This little piece. Right. So there is our focal piece. What do you think so far? Oh my gosh, you guys, I just spilled my coffee. Jeez. That's why I have coffee crafting. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, well, that was <laughs> on my computer too. This is great. Give me just a sec here. Maybe. I'm going to have to change the name of Coffee and Create. That was a big full cup, too. All right. Oh. Saturday. Doesn't it just always have to happen like that? <laughs> well, are you about moving? Sorry about moving my pewter around, but. It's full. Full of coffee. Wow. Oh. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Back to stamping. All right. Here we go. That was exciting. All right. So now I've got the front of my piece done here. And is what I want to do is I want to bring in my stamp and cut and emboss. And is what I'm going to do with our little focal piece here. I've got my platform one, platform two, well loved cutting plate. Look at that. My tat my tasteful textures 3D embossing folder. So now I'm going to take my stamped image, put it right in my embossing. Folder. I've got our plate number four for embossing. Whoops, I've got all the wrong plot here because I thought I was cutting there. Little frazzled, guys. Little frazzled. That coffee was exciting. All right, I'm just going to roll this through. So when you emboss with an embossing folder, it's just the number one platform. And then if it's a 3D, you're going to use the, the dark gray. And this gives a very cool look to our stamped in, I think. So if you've never tried that, give that a try with texturing after you stamp. Now, before I move my um, Big Shot out of the way, Big shot, where'd that come from? My stamp and cut and emboss. I'm gonna put on platform two. Cutting plate. I have a scrap of very vanilla. And then I'm going to use the, um, it is from the scalloped contour dies. And I know a lot of my regular customers because it was of uh, um, the stamp set for this was included in my in color club for this year and a lot of people bought the coordinating dies after they saw how beautiful so let's put that little tiny scalloped rectangle on and we'll cut through Oh, 
Wow, Coffee and Create was exciting today with the coffee. I've never had that happen before. All right. I'm going to bring in my little silicone mat here. And you can see I have a couple of the dots to get rid of there. So I'm use my take your pick tool. And I'm going to stamp our sentiments now. For our card, have in your words, remember this was the host gift, and there's some really nice sentiments in here, but um, I'm going to use the happy birthday, and this month, every month I hold a card swap for my customers and team, and this month it is a birthday theme, so here's an idea for our swappers. This month I had 14 swappers, I think it was. So that's awesome. All right. So there's our happy birthday for the outside. And let's bring our card base in. And I want to just stamp the inside sentiment. And I love this. It's hope your day is fantabulistic, fabulous, and fantastic all in one. Let's ink that up. Isn't that cute? I love the font. Love, love, love it. And then, as I told you before, we are going to bring that little flower stamp back in. And I'm going to do the outline first using Bumblebee ink. I'm going to put that right up here. And then do the solid image. And I'll just line that up. There it is. All right. So now just to assemble our that's we're gonna bring in our stamp and dimensionals. And because I textured this using that tasteful textures 3D die. I am going to put extra, you can see I picked up ink off my silicone pad, but it's on the back, it won't matter. I am going to put some extra dimensionals on here just to keep it nice and flat, okay? Because when you texture it, it makes the paper a little bit weaker. And that's why I chose the thick, very vanilla for our card base, just to give it a little bit more support. So now I'm going to center this on the front of our card. And remember, it was a quarter of an inch difference. So you just want to center it on like that. And then we'll take our dimensionals and put them on our little layer here. Little die piece. Our happy birthday sentiment. And this like that. Those flowers are just the best. They're really what what makes this simple card so elegant. These are our brushed metallic adhesive back dots. And I thought the copper with that little bit of Cajun craze really looked pretty on here. So I'm just going to add three of those. That. Our card. Or, oh. All right, everybody, have a great Saturday. I'm going to go dry up some coffee stuff. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Remember, September 30th is the last day of celebration. Host, monthly host code is up here. So when you order $100 in product, not only do you get to choose the Delicate Dahlia stamp set, but you will also receive from me for $100 in product this adorable delivering cheer stamp set. This is your gift from me for shopping with me. And I've got a card coming up this week using this stamp set. 
couple cards actually. So stay tuned. Have a great day. And until next Saturday. Bye-bye.